Another day, another story. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to discuss the H3N2 virus. H3N2 is a subtype of the influenza virus and it has been known to cause seasonal flu outbreaks in humans. In this video, we'll be discussing what the H3N2 virus is, how it spreads, and the symptoms it can cause. What is the H3N2 virus? The H3N2 virus is a subtype of the influenza virus that is known to cause seasonal flu outbreaks in humans. It was first identified in humans in 1968 and has since been responsible for several influenza outbreaks around the world. The H3N2 virus is also known as the Hong Kong flu, as it was first identified in Hong Kong. How does the H3N2 virus spread? The H3N2 virus is highly contagious and can spread easily from person to person through respiratory droplets that are released when an infected person coughs or sneezes. It can also be spread by touching a surface contaminated with the virus and then touching your mouth, nose or eyes. The virus can survive on surfaces for up to 48 hours. Symptoms of the H3N2 virus The symptoms of the H3N2 virus are similar to those of other types of flu. They usually appear within 1 to 3 days after exposure to the virus and can last for up to a week. The symptoms include 1. Fever 2. Cough 3. Sore throat 4. Runny or stuffy nose 5. Muscle aches 6. Headaches 7. Fatigue Treatment for the H3N2 virus If you suspect you have the H3N2 virus, it's important to see a doctor as soon as possible. Antiviral medications like oseltamivir, Tamiflu, can be used to treat the virus, but they are most effective if taken within the first 48 hours of symptom onset. Rest, fluids, and over-the-counter pain relievers can also help to manage the symptoms of the virus. Prevention of the H3N2 virus The best way to prevent the H3N2 virus is to get an annual flu vaccine. The vaccine is designed to protect against the flu strains that are most likely to be circulating during the upcoming flu season. Other prevention methods include 1. Washing your hands regularly with soap and water. 2. Covering your mouth and nose when you cough or sneeze. 3. Avoiding close contact with people who are sick. 4. Avoiding touching your eyes, nose, or mouth. Complications of the H3N2 virus. While most people recover from the H3N2 virus without any complications, some individuals may develop severe illness. Certain groups of people, such as young children, older adults, pregnant women, and people with weakened immune systems, are at higher risk of developing complications from the virus. Complications can include pneumonia, bronchitis, sinus infections, and ear infections. How is the H3N2 virus different from other flu viruses? The H3N2 virus is different from other flu viruses in several ways. Firstly, it tends to affect older adults and young children more severely than other flu viruses. Secondly, the H3N2 virus is known to mutate more frequently than other flu viruses, which can make it more difficult to develop effective vaccines. Finally, the symptoms of the H3N2 virus may be more severe than those of other flu viruses, and it may take longer for people to recover from the virus. Recent Outbreaks of the H3N2 Virus In recent years, there have been several outbreaks of the H3N2 virus around the world. In 2017-2018, the H3N2 virus was responsible for a particularly severe flu season in the United States, which resulted in an estimated 80,000 deaths. In 2019, an outbreak of the H3N2 virus occurred in Hong Kong, which led to the closure of schools and the cancellation of public events. Global efforts to control the H3N2 virus. Global efforts to control the H3N2 virus include monitoring and tracking the spread of the virus, developing effective vaccines, and promoting prevention methods such as hand washing and social distancing. The World Health Organization, WHO, provides guidance and support to countries around the world in their efforts to control the virus. In addition, research is ongoing to better understand the virus and develop more effective treatment and prevention methods. If you are experiencing flu-like symptoms such as fever, cough, sore throat, body aches, and fatigue, it's important to take precautions to avoid spreading the virus to others. This includes staying home from work or school, covering your mouth and nose with a tissue or your elbow when coughing or sneezing, and washing your hands frequently. If you are in a high-risk group for developing complications from the H3N2 virus, 
such as older adults, young children, pregnant women, and people with weakened immune systems, it's especially important to take steps to prevent infection. This may include getting vaccinated against the flu, avoiding close contact with people who are sick, and practicing good hygiene habits. In addition to seasonal flu outbreaks, there is also a risk of a pandemic caused by a new strain of the H3N2 virus or another type of influenza virus. Global health organizations, governments, and researchers are working to monitor and prepare for the possibility of a pandemic by developing vaccines, increasing surveillance of flu outbreaks, and improving global response capabilities. Research on the H3N2 virus Scientists are continually studying the H3N2 virus to better understand how it works and how it can be controlled. Research on the virus includes studying its genetics, how it spreads, and how it interacts with the human immune system. One area of research focuses on developing more effective vaccines against the H3N2 virus. Because the virus can mutate frequently, it can be challenging to develop a vaccine that provides long-lasting protection. Researchers are exploring new vaccine technologies that may be able to provide broader protection against multiple strains of the flu virus. Another area of research is developing new antiviral drugs that can treat the H3N2 virus. Currently, there are several antiviral drugs that can be used to treat the flu, but some strains of the virus have developed resistance to these drugs. Researchers are working to develop new drugs that can be effective against multiple strains of the flu virus. The impact of the H3N2 virus on global health. The H3N2 virus has a significant impact on global health, causing millions of cases of flu each year and resulting in thousands of deaths. The virus can be especially dangerous for certain groups of people, such as older adults, young children, and people with underlying health conditions. In addition to causing illness and death, the H3N2 virus can also have economic impacts, such as reduced productivity due to illness and increased healthcare costs. The H3N2 virus is not the only strain of the flu virus that can cause illness, but it is one of the most common. Each year, the World Health Organization, WHO, identifies the strains of flu virus that are most likely to cause illness in the upcoming flu season and recommends which strains should be included in the annual flu vaccine. This helps to reduce the impact of the flu on global health by providing protection against the most common strains of the virus. In addition to the impact of the H3N2 virus on human health, it can also have an impact on animal health. The virus can infect a range of animals, including birds, pigs, and dogs. In some cases, the virus can cause illness and death in these animals, and there is a risk of the virus mutating and potentially causing a pandemic. Conclusion in conclusion, the H3N2 virus is a significant global health concern that can cause flu outbreaks each year, resulting in illness, death, and economic impacts. Prevention methods such as getting an annual flu vaccine, washing your hands regularly, and avoiding close contact with people who are sick can help to reduce the spread of the virus. Ongoing research on the virus is aimed at developing more effective vaccines and treatments to control the spread of the virus. Thank you for watching and stay healthy. Thanks for watching.